never go out with me in school. You always went out with those guys who thought they were so cool. And I was just nobody to you, nobody to you, nobody to you. But it's the early 19th century, and we're going to take this country back for people like us who don't just think about things. People who make things happen, sometimes with guns, sometimes with speeches too, and also other things. One, two, three, four. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. This is the age of, this is the age of, this is the age of Jackson. So that's our opening number, Populism, yeah, yeah. And uh, basically, Alex and I, when we started writing the show, were trying to figure out what this op magical opening number should be. Because I think in any musical, the tone you set right at the get-go is what the audience starts, you know, they sets the expectations for what the show will be like. I had all these ideas for writing a song about Jackson. And finally, we realized, isn't this show really about like the American people and populism? So I jokingly said to Alex, what, are, am I going to write a song called Populism, Yeah, Yeah? And the next day, I had written a song called Populism, Yeah, Yeah. Well, we decided in 2005, we had this idea of writing a show, a kind of emo rock musical about Andrew Jackson. Um, all those ideas happened very early. I think that, that Jackson in America, that there's something in emo rock which is kind of like a post-punk kind of music where, you know, boys with guitars are very upset about girls who didn't date them in high school or really like there's a kind of, it's emotional, deeply emotional boys. And I think the idea that this was a show about a deeply emotional boy and also about the adolescence of a country and, and the growing pains of that and that that kind of music, which, you know, I've been pretty f fast and loose in the music I put in the show. I don't think anyone would call it, you know, perfect emo. The, there are, in fact, I receive, I receive emails from experts who are like, you aren't writing real emo music. So I guess, you know, it's ersatz emo. But, uh, that, that was the original idea and I think, you know, certainly carried us through the score. In the sort of second section of the, sh uh, of the show uh, is a series of scenes following Jackson's um, Indian treaties, the treaties with various tribes in which he basically uh, stole their land uh, through force, uh, through legal means, et cetera, um, mostly through force. Uh, and we see those treaties interspersed with a kind of woman who we call the female soloist singing the song Ten Little Indians, which is a very simple lyric based on, you know, the old children's rhyme. So that watching sort of Jackson's triumphs as the numbers decrease uh, in the song is, you know, that counterpoint I think was really exciting to us. Ten little Indians standing in a line one got executed, then there were nine. Nine little Indians haven't long to wait. One got syphilis, and then there were eight. Eight little Indians trying to get to heaven. One found Jesus, and then there were seven. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Seven little Indians playing pick up sticks. One got burned real bad and then there were six. Six little Indians trying to stay alive. One didn't do so well and then there were five. Five little Indians banging on the door. One got in and then there were four. Good night. I always enjoy this song because the audience isn't entirely sure if they're supposed to laugh. And by the end, they, all the laughter stops. But that weird place in between where the song is somewhere between humor and tragedy. Uh, and I, it's fun. It's fun for me. I, like, I kind of like the different people who know me from different work that I do, incidental music or this show or my work with the civilians or other things. I, I, I like to think that I'm kind of like an elephant, you know, the, the blind men looking at the elephant and they all 
touch a different part and they're trying to figure out what it is that they're holding. So I don't know if there's a specific sound that I, I think other composers have more a sound they're known for. And in my case, I kind of like that I get to shape shift with each project. It's really, it's more fun for me. Whatever I'm working on, I like to start from the idea of what the piece is and figure out what the music will be that will serve that piece. The saddest song comes late in the show and Jackson, uh, over a long journey, is beginning to be sort of plagued with self-doubt and not knowing where he's going and his life begins, he begins to question all the motives for what he's done in his life. And so this song comes at that point in the show. It stops being fun and your patience is done and you see being president's hard with this country before you that cannot be governed you find yourself powerless bloody and scarred and what was it for the love of the people who is it for this nation we made that guy who did everything his way where has he gone so i'll sing saddest songs enemies who did me wrong and the war will go on and on and on and on and on and on as long as we need it's a funny thing the show jackson sometimes feels like he's directly out of the tea party and then sometimes he feels like he's obama and then sometimes he's some weird amalgam of all political, I mean, it's a, it's a, he's a real shapeshifter in terms of, of what, who he seems to be in contemporary politics. Second Nature, uh, which is the last song in the play before the curtain call, um, is kind of a song that the band leader s sits down on the edge of the stage and plays guitar and just sings it, and it's about what we did to the land and what we did to the, this sort of amazing, vast expanse that we conquered and what happens when people take over uh, nature and, and, and what we make in place of it. And therefore, it's sort of our political responsibility and what have, sort of what have we done to this country. What was it for this country? The farms and the blood across the prairie. The nation we become as we build a second nature. No, no, no. No, no, no. The rivers run and parking lots, the endless, endless fields and cities. We make them, replace them with all our dreams of the future. And what was it for? The swimming pools, the highways, the ball games in the dusk on the battlefield the time we were so foolish and so young no 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 grass grows, we take it, we want it, it's second nature to us. I love that the show's really funny, and then I, I love the sort of roller coaster ride that we take the audience on, and, and I think that last song, the sort of bigger questions of what are we as a people responsible for, to, you know, to have a good time and at the end still have to come out with the questions of of personal responsibility and political responsibility and what, what, what it means to be an American, if, if that doesn't sound too, too big and scary. I always like a show that seems like it goes on one level and then surprisingly has maybe a little bit of depth that you hadn't seen coming. Uh, and I think there's something fun in the way that the journey of this show goes that way, that you, you, you draw them in with the wit, the humor, and the crazy stuff, and the anachronisms, and all of that, and then by the end, the bigger questions kind of slowly begin to emerge. I think what's been fun about this show is we kind of wrote it for ourselves, and I, I certainly wanted the music to sound contemporary and like music you might hear now, but uh, what's kind of been fun is, you know, discovering that 
young people like it and actually old people like it and people all in between seem to like it. Some people don't like it. But uh, that, that's been really fun that I think uh, making a show that feels kind of contemporary even though it's about 19th century politics uh, can appeal to a lot of people. Take a stand against the elite. They don't care anything for us. And we will eat sweet democracy and let them eat our dust, eat our dust, eat our dust. Cause it's the early 19th century. We'll take the land back from the Indians. We'll take the land back from the French and Spanish and other people in other European countries and other countries too and also other places. I'm pretty sure it's our land anyway. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. This is the age of Jet. This is the age of Jackson. The age of Jet. This is the age of Jackson. The age of. This